So I do have some reasons as to why I'm making such a rash decision. And uh, let me explain those all to you right now. Currently on Twitch, there's a lot of tools to utilize and the comments are just organized better. And the one thing that I did say Twitch was lacking on before was the fact that the quality, the bit rate wasn't as high as what YouTube offered. Since YouTube does have better servers, they have Google, but Twitch has been improving on that end. And I'm not trying to sound like I was a YouTube fanboy way back in the day, even though I kind of was, but I can see where Twitch is definitely improving. And plus they're allowing for uploads as well too. Overall, so many tools and benefits to using Twitch just make it seem like the better platform for me right now since I need moderation more than the average guy, if some of you know what I mean. So that's one of the reasons as to why I'm not going to be streaming on YouTube anymore. They just don't really have the tools that somebody in my position would need to manage a chat to, um, yeah, manage a chat. <laughs> if any of you guys have been following me on Twitter, you would see that I've had some financial woes lately due to the fact that on my YouTube channel, I don't really have that high of a CPM and I haven't for the last few months now. Some people have been telling me it's because of my shorter videos. I don't know what the deal is, but the point is that now I need more income and I need to do it in some form or fashion. Now, it doesn't always come down to the money being the only thing you gotta concentrate on, but Twitch right now has a subscription service that YouTube doesn't. They could potentially be bringing it in the future, but as of right now, it don't exist. So what other option do I have at this point? Because I can only probably pay my rent, utilities, and a little bit of food for maybe like two weeks after I get paid on YouTube. It's not looking too good on that end. But with being able to stream on Twitch and have a subscription, um, a subscribe button, and also be partnered, I'd be making ad revenue even though it's not that much on Twitch, and I'd also be making subscriber, you know, subscription revenue as well too. So that seems like way more appealing for me, and that's only in my position, I can't speak for anybody else, but I do think that similar content creators in my position would also feel the same way. YouTube Gaming currently just doesn't have that subscription model, so for somebody like me who does need the extra money, it's gonna be a little tough justifying streaming on there when I could be streaming and having the same fun with better tools on Twitch and making an income at the same time. The third reason, and probably the reason that started up me deciding not wanting to do YouTube streaming anymore, even though I had been thinking about it a lot beforehand, I have a fucking copyright strike now. And I wasn't sure when I was going to tell you guys about it, but now is better than ever, right? I got the strike over some dumb shit, and there was usually a lot of precaution and a way that I protected myself with these anime reaction videos. I didn't do it this time around, and unfortunately I paid the price for it. It won't last forever, because it's after six months and the strike goes away, but due to the fact that I have the strike, there are some features that I cannot access on YouTube anymore. One of the big ones being that I can't stream. But considering that I was already kind of leaning towards Twitch after everything was said and done, as you can see from my previous video where I talked about YouTube gaming in detail, most of you didn't watch that, go check it out if you haven't. This sort of pushes me to do what I've been contemplating for the last few weeks. I mean, it sucks because I, I know I could have avoided the strike if I really had, you know, edited the video and kind of been hard on, you know, how I uploaded it, but I, I did it foolishly, so I gotta pay the price. And also, due to me wanting to avoid subscriber burn, there was a lot of strategies that I was trying to take with this whole streaming, uploading thing, and I just don't like the fact that there could possibly be three or four hour long videos that I upload to YouTube, even if they're all from a stream, and they still have the chance to burn out my subscriber base like that. So I planned on going back to having gameplay videos on my channel and then be 15 to 30 minutes long posted in episodes. No more, no longer than that, you know? I mean, I feel like that model might help me out. And you know, the reason as to why I want these 10 to 30 minute videos is because a lot of people are saying that the reason as to why my YouTube channel pulls in so little um, from ad revenue and so little money is the fact that they aren't really long videos. I don't do gameplay as much as anymore, as much as I used to rather. And so because I only post these news videos, which are, you know, three to six to eight minutes long, I'm not getting that audience retention that YouTube thinks I should. So therefore I'm not getting paid the way I should be. It's a sucky situation. So I'm hoping that bringing back those gameplay videos that are 10 minutes to um, 30 minutes long, I'll be able to actively engage in, you know, longer retention rates, which means that, you know, I can get paid a little bit more. You guys can have gameplay. I can have fun with you dudes on stream and everything. Now, if you remember, when I was streaming on YouTube, I was actually posting those long ass 
three, four hour gameplays, I'm gonna be streaming those all on Twitch now. So for instance, we're playing Fire Emblem. I'm doing it on Twitch, come through and watch me play. We play one day for four hours straight. I will split that four hour session and upload it to YouTube in 30 minute parts. So you might have to wait for content that's already been played beforehand, but most people wouldn't see it anyway since most people don't watch the streams. And that way I can have those longer videos out. They can still be substantial enough for you to be pleased from watching an episode, but at the same time, they won't burn my people out. So if you do want to see the episodes before they air, I highly advise you also follow me on my YouTube, excuse me, on my Twitch, which will be in the description. Yeah, you know, even though I have this whole copyright strike thing, so I have to wait a few months in order to stream on YouTube gaming, I feel like a few months is exactly what YouTube gaming needs to improve itself and to come through with the features that people want from it. Because in its current state, I might be speaking out of line here, and I don't want to sound like I know what everybody's desires are, but I feel like it doesn't appeal as much to a specific crowd of people that I sometimes fall into, sometimes I don't. There's a certain demographic that YouTube gaming hasn't hit yet, and maybe in six months' time, back, you know, probably in March, it'll probably find its footing. I'm hoping that it will, because I feel like it's a great platform. All it needs is time to carve out its niche and to be able to serve all people from all desires, because it serves the little guy really well right now. It serves the big, big guy right now really well. But for the middle guys like myself who rely on this to pay their bills, but don't really have a ton of money or savings, it's, a, it's more of a difficult situation for us. You know, we're not PewDiePie's or MatPat's, so when we stream on YouTube gaming, we have to rely a lot on our income if you're in my position, that is, to make it. And with YouTube gaming as it is right now, for my position, it's not really beneficial. So that's pretty much one of the main reasons. I'm hoping that with this time that I'm away from YouTube gaming and streaming and all that stuff on YouTube, that it advances and flushes out those features that people really want and that it becomes a platform more suitable for everybody, not just, you know, one demographic. Anyways, I hope this explanation was enough for you guys. I know things got a little bit real in this one, but I figured I'd tell you the truth straight on. There ain't nothing to hide later. I'm going to be streaming on Twitch in a few minutes, actually. I might be streaming in uh, 30 minutes. So if you want to catch me fucking up some niggas in Smash Brothers or get splattered on that Splatoon or something along the lines of that, come through to the Twitch. We won't be streaming. I'm going to be attempting to get a partnership on Twitch now also. And also, I, I just hope that YouTube Gaming fixes that whole thing that Germany has with the streaming stuff because people in Germany can't watch me. For some damn reason, I have a lot of German viewers and it, it's a little bit frustrating on my end. So hopefully in these six months, YouTube Gaming will improve on that end as well. But there's just so much benefit to streaming on Twitch over YouTube. That's gonna be where I am from now on. I hope you guys can understand. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.